Oh, I guess we're gonna stop. Anyone wanna stop and grab a shower? Yeah. You know, I heard uh, this is a great place to stay. They like, kill for some business. Oh, hi, hey Norman. Um, don't worry, he's not that angry. Look, he's got a business card he's about to give us. Okay, tonight we should get out of here, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Norman Bates. Oh man. I, I, I don't want you guys to worry. We, we hired an actor to play Norman Bates. But that's not him. I don't know who that guy was. And we are going to take you up. We are going to take you up to cool past the Psycho House now. Not stopping. Mother doesn't like company. But then take you into one of the most spectacular sets ever created in all of Hollywood. It is the colossal crash site from Steven Spielberg's war. Of the world. Yeah. Quite a spectacular set. It's a nice place to grab some photos right here. <coughs> what you do see around you is the remains of the neighborhood where Tom Cruise hid out in War of the Worlds. In fact, the plane over there is an actual real Boeing 747. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a Japanese airline, actually, that had retarded out on the east coast here of the U.S. Uh, by New York. We had to bring it out here in three sections. It is broken up in those three sections so we can get it on the back of trucks. Then we had to cut it in half, actually, to get underneath all of the freeway passes all the way out here to the west coast. And then the tail section, which you'll see in a moment here, was lowered in uh, for where you see it by helicopter. And what originally happened was they put all these sets out here. It still had all the markings from the Japanese airline. It had the serial number and everything on it. We had a pilot who was flying into Burbank Airport, not far from us here, saw this down on the ground, and uh, radioed in distress calls. Um, thought there was an actual down plane, and it happened once or twice to us, actually. So we had to, that's why if you look at the tail section now, it's all grayed out, like it's been burnt, but we got rid of all of the markings that made it look like it was an actual operational plane. So we don't have that problem happening anymore. Here's how it all came about for this spectacular scene. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around the vision that Stephen had. We first began to sit down to talk about the war of the world. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. Keep your eyes on me. Listen, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Stand close. Robbie, get in. Get in. Oh, it just got off. Yeah, and you use some of these life-size realistic sets. Uh, Steven Spielberg still used over 500 visual effects shots in the world of the world. Yeah. yeah, it's actually more than ever used in any one of his films before. Uh, if you're a fan of the band The Fray, the last music video came yeah. out in the sets, yeah, very recognizable. Okay. And also, now over here, yeah, a lot's going on out here right now. What is that? Yeah, that's a great question. This out here is very known as Falls Lake. They have been building sets for an upcoming feature production. So cannot say, uh, you know what it is. They've kept that under wraps also, just like we were talking about Soundstage 12 earlier. 